everyone. Welcome to this era, the show that talks about the many sides of me. I'm Kevin, and I'm with a special guest today, my cousin Liz. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, hi, Liz. Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that sounded so funny, dude. Oh, anyways, we're gonna talk about um free stuff and anything in between about free stuff. So. Like, uh, for example, love is free. So anyways, let's get started, sweeties. Hi, Liz. Hey. Well, guys, we're doing our podcast and Liz is literally with me right now in yes, my room. Yes, because last time I wasn't here, but now I'm actually here, guys. It's, I, yeah, you're like, she's like right in front of me and we have like a whole setup. Like, yes. we just ate Taco Bell and I'm extremely full. So if you hear a lot of <laughs> breathing <laughs> and burp sounds, then that's why. But, um. Yeah, Liz is right in front of me and she has like her own little mic and everything. I had like my previous mics from like a long time ago and it's all cute and set up and I'm excited because we're recording this episode physically, which we said we wanted to do it. Yeah, last time I thought it wasn't going to happen to be honest because we (gasps) took up planning. Yeah. But look at us. We're here. What episode was that that you were on? It was episode two? Two, Episode two, yes. And we were talking about um, our jobs. Yes, it was work life. Uh, Episode two... You better work featuring my cousin Liz. Yes. Episode two. Yeah. Um, and Liz is here now. So that's cool that we like we're doing what we said we were going to do. Yes, exactly. Except uh, this time it's a I mean, we could talk about we said we were going to talk about like food and yeah, like, we said gossip and tea about what we were going to spill yeah. tea about something. And I forgot what it I was. I forgot to. Whatever. It's fine. Um, whatever. It's fine. It's fine, Liz. Whatever. <laughs> what? You should have put the laughing ones right there. Oh, let me see. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I messed up. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Everybody knows. I love your cute little laugh, dude. Don't get all serious with me, sweetie. Dude, I love this energy. Oh, where's that one? <laughs> You're funny, Liz. Liz is wearing some cute ass clothes right now. I'm just wearing jeans. It looks cute. <laughs> Let me tell you, whoever's listening, what Liz just did right before recording. She dropped, um, I don't know if anybody knows those cinnamon twists from Taco from Bell. Taco Bell. You literally dropped it right on the floor and I had to go had vacuum to go- it. <laughs> you did. So- I'm still trying to get the perfect video. <laughs> Liz is like trying to Snapchat <laughs> while we're live. That's okay. You do that, sweetie. P- people are just going to hear the struggles of her going, mm, <laughs> let me look at that angle. Is it good? Do we look stupid or not? That's okay. Oh, I feel like I got a burp, dude. <laughs> Ew, what was that? <laughs> give me a give me a cinnamon twist. Look, I want to do this like ASMR moment for the people. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Okay, ready? <laughs> Does it? That sounds so good. Dude, I love that. It sounds great. Let me try. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> A lot of this episode is going to be a lot of cuts, sweetie. We're going to cut a lot. Not the empty spaces. Hi, Liz. Hi. So I saw Liz yesterday. Um, I mean, I'm recording today, but I saw you yesterday at your work, which is awesome. And I tried the... What did I try? You tried the mud pie mojo with... Mud pie peanut, mojo. With, um, it's a coffee one. I love coffee. With coffee ice cream. Yes. Almonds, Toasted almonds. Yes. Peanut butter peanut and butter. an Oreo. An Oreo. That sounds so good. I was so up for it. Let's go. And my boyfriend. What, what do you mean? Let's, let's go. go. <gasps> I'm not driving, sweetie. I will. <gasps> uh, yeah, I will. Like on this? You're crazy. <laughs> like we haven't done it before. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I know how we did that last time. Um, But your boyfriend got the chocolate devotion. My boyfriend got the chocolate devotion. He loves chocolate. That's his favorite thing. Dude, if you're listening. I should have told him to get fudge truffle. He was looking at that one. Oh, no, he was looking. He was there. Was yes, I saw. Isn't there one for like the Valentine's? Yeah, that one. That's the one. Extra chocolatey. <gasps> he loves extra chocolate. Like He's, it's brownie Oreo. You can add Oreos. Yeah. Fudge, truffle. Mm, it's good. He's listening to this podcast right now. He is. Yeah. How? No, like when it's out. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Where it's crazy to like the audience because like we're like listening. We're talking right now. But this will be up soon. So what I'm saying, he's listening to this because I know he's going to listen to this. Yes. So you're listening to it right now. So hi, baby. Um, 
<laughs> Do you hear the, the we my mom's taking care of the kids right now and And they're like loud. They're so loud. And you know what's funny is that we were little kids, uh that's crazy. We were like the first we were generation. Like running around. Ugh. Dude. Lose bed. Well, were we the first like generation of like kids? in our family? Well, no, it was them. It was our parents. No, but like like the first generation of like kids. Yeah. Me entiendes? Like the now the now my niece and you know, Aita is that's her name, Aita. Um, is the next like generation of now we're going to be yeah. like the older cousins. That's crazy. Oh, I feel so. We're already all the older cousins. <clears throat> Whatever. They, like they look up to us. Have you noticed that? Well, they better look up to this gay queen. Ew. I am. I'm so special. I'm gonna be that gay uncle. Oh. Hey kids, I brought Hi, you guys. makeup. I brought you Sephora and Alta, your favorite. <laughs> For Christmas, <laughs> I'm just gonna be giving them Starbucks, Alta, Sephora. You would. Whatever, you know. What the? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I wanted to see what are we talking about. I don't know. Whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Or are you going to talk about Love is Free? Oh, yeah. But Guys, you have to explain that to them because I uh, don't know. The topic today is, well, the main topic, but we don't have to talk about it, is about what's free, like, in life. And, like, I guess, like, what's free, one thing that you could say is free is love. Um, There's not, love is free. You can never go wrong with any little bit of love in your, you know, a little, put a little love in your heart. What's the song? I don't know the song. Put a little, put a little love, love in, in your heart. I don't know. We're harmonizing, sweetie. Go, go, go. Put a little love oh. in your heart. Oh, well, well. We're Ariana, dude. Ariana could. Ever. Uh, 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 I needed to lower that. That's not good. I'm going to cut that. Liz, okay. it's not going to sound good. It's not. No, but that was scary. And be careful. You don't want to damage your ears, sweetie. Well, love is free. I was saying that love is free. And Liz. It's because I'm trying to record Liz is you. still trying to make her trans- her um, Snapchat. Anyways, love is free. And like. Oh, you look annoyed. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Here, do it again. Mm, oh, uh, ew. <laughs> love is free. And um, you can't go wrong with a little bit of love in your life, you know? And whether it is some special person like Liz, my cousin right here sitting with me, having so many memories or um, giving someone a little touch of kindness because you can give someone a little touch of kindness by doing something very kind, like opening a door for them. So that's that's a cute thing, you know, Um, or just saying something nice to them. I don't know. Take a moment to say something nice to someone right next to you, Liz. Um, I think that it's important to let others know how you truly feel about them because then if you if you're not honest with people, you don't compliment them, you don't show show them your true colors, you're gonna be like that person's fake. Like they're not gonna feel real around you. You tell them. Aren't I agree. They? No, yeah. Like I can tell when someone's not being themselves. What do you mean? Like, like what? Like when, when they're the, not authentic? Like when something's wrong yeah. or when they're like holding back from something. And I don't know. Do you want to do you want to talk about that? No. Oh, what do you mean? Like <laughs> when they're holding something like being fake? I had several people who were like being fake in my life. I agree. I know we were just talking about them. <gasps> we were just spilling tea. Mm, gay tea. Spilling tea. Okay, so the, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, are you going to spill the tea? No. So you've had you've had plenty of like fake people. In your life, yeah? Yes. Oh, can you spill the tea about that? Um, well, it's like easy to say that someone is like your friend. Wait, what was the question? Wow. Um, no, it's um, uh, fake friends, like fake. <laughs> Have I ever had someone fake in my life? Then. Have you ever had someone fake in your life? Yeah, several. I had, I like right now that popped up in my mind is like one particular person. Um, but... I like forgive them, whatever. I'm not like. Yeah, I like forgiving too because it's never hold to. It's yeah, never why? good to hold grudges. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Like, why do I need to hold that like stupid dumb baggage? Why? Like sometimes I do miss those certain people that were in my life. Yeah, me too. But then I'm like, mm, like it's okay. Like, yeah. 
we haven't reached out to each other. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it happened for yeah. a reason. Do you believe, do you think that like people are meant to be in your life for a reason? Like, do you believe that? Yeah. It's all like, because I, I feel like, and me and my boyfriend feel that. Like, we're like, you know, I met him for a reason. Like that. Yeah. They, you meet them for a reason and they leave for a reason. I don't wish to ever leave. I know. But you never know what happens. And we talked about that. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, there, yeah, I've had plenty of people like talk to me and stuff. And like they, you know, and then we just, we just stop. I had, I had a peer like that with some old friends and, you know, we're still good people um, from my middle school. It, it was like some people from elementary school, uh, middle school and and a little bit of high school. And I remember it was during high school, like from middle school to high school. We like, I just, we just separated. Like it wasn't anything like nothing happened between us. Nothing. We just parted our ways very quietly and separately. I don't know how to explain it. It's so weird. It's odd to like explain. We just, you just quietly like leave, but you're still there and you're still good people. And like, that's it. But we're just not friends. It's so, it's such a weird phenomenon. I don't know how to explain it, but I remember having like people like that, that I left. And then obviously there was talking. Yeah. yeah. And there was obviously some people that like, yeah, like there was something a reason or or um god you can hear the kids in the background excuse me it's okay (laughs) um but um yeah like people just um with this pandemic thing yeah i used to talk to a lot of people from the school (gasps) what happened and now that we haven't seen each other because there's no school i don't really talk to any of them yeah well i talk to the people in my group and if i run into some of them i say hi but it's like obviously not the same yeah and a lot of us have not remained in contact and it sucks because i know that if we were in school we would have still been you know like in each other's lives and talking and stuff anyways we're back we were rudely interrupted by um the kids i told them that we're on air we're not on air but we're recording this that was so funny uh I threw liz my just threw my my phone <laughs> she threw her phone back That's like my fucking phone <laughs> <laughs> keep that energy sweetie on the podcast wow you better that would be cool what like a skit what do you mean a skit? like what kind of skit like no one's ever done that before like you make up a story and we follow the script like acting but on you and sam should make a podcast and do that see yeah. don't i'm not taking your idea it's because i need equipment you don't need equipment you don't need like expensive equipment and you know what's the good thing right here we can insert the <laughs> of the the promotion for this podcast I'm going to insert my ad right here. So (laughs) a little break time. Anyways, Liz is opening her phone and looking at her snaps. Um, We're back um, from the, you know, if there was a a little ad break here, but we were saying about what friends leaving and shit. Oh, what happened? No, what were you saying? Someone swiped up on the podcast and they were like, are you making music? What the fuck? (laughs) Bitch, they're so tight. Well, I don't want to be mean, but. You should have said yes. You should have been I'm like, I'm a pop star now. Ew. Uh, oh, why do I look like the directors that's telling you how Gosh. to? I'm over here like, she's making music, sweetie. What do you want? Oh, uh, well, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, okay. Okay, hold up. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. Hurry up. Liz, it's Thank so much you. cutting that I might have to do. Here, let me give you some sound effects. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's like my little gay sound. Anyways, fake friends. Um, what was I saying? Not fake friends, but just people who leave my life and shit. Um, so yeah, being kind is free. So I guess like what I was saying to my boyfriend the other day is that we, I guess I have moments of like distress and I'm like, we have to like remind each other that we are doing our best. We are doing our best. I'm doing my best. Are you doing your best? Yes. Right. Like I'm working on it. Yes. We're all doing our best. Yeah, we're doing our best. And there's like no, you know, oh, you Liz, you look so cute just sitting there. We're doing our best. And like we remind each other like we're just doing our best and to be present. That's another thing that I brought up in one of the other episodes. Um, I don't remember which episode, but being present and all of that. So and um, doing your best. So I was just doing my best. And if if we're not if we don't need to be in each other's life, we don't need to be in each other's lives, whatever. For the for anybody for any like friends or whatever I know, dude. The kids in the background are so annoying. Oh, so we were kids like that. That's so crazy, dude. I think yes, it's so. That's what we were talking about. Like we, 
we're like we were that those kids but i think we were more quieter though they were like they yell more they talk more yeah the kids now are so loud can you hear my mom yelling in the background yeah. oh my god i don't know if that's gonna show up into the thing but i don't think so me neither but still she's kind of yelling for those who are listening and tuning in um she's yelling by the way i think s- you dropped your phone okay, that, oh that hurt did important. you hear that in the back what'd you say this is more important mm-hmm. liz don't be on your phone i was saying that um for those who are listening on spotify you can um i think you can like you can flag a part of the episode or not not flag you can like add it to like a list I don't know where you can do it, but you add it to a list like if you can't listen to it right now. So if you guys can't listen to it right now, make sure you do that so you can listen to it later and give me a follow if you haven't already. So, Actually, you know. when you follow someone on Spotify for the podcast, it gives you a notification every time that they upload. So yeah. with Kevin, sometimes I'd be like showering. Yeah. Kevin, this era. <gasps> Thank you, Liz. You, you sent me a snap of you... Um, you were listening to it in the shower. Yeah, I was. That is so cute. Liz. You really were, like, for real. Yeah, for real. That is so cool. You, I mean, you, that's, like, the beauty of it. You can, like, listen to this, like, anywhere Everywhere. while you're doing your business in the restrooms. Um, you know, whatever it needs to be. Mm. <laughs> um, or if you're doing it in the shower. That's so mm. cool. Hey, by the way, speaking of restrooms, I got my bidet. Did you see the bidet? Oh, no, I was going to um, go try it later. Right now. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> it feels so cool. For those of you, um, I told him, I told the viewers, the listeners, not the viewers, the listeners that um, I was going to update them about the, the bidet and it's really good. It's It cleans your coochie real nice, sweetie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that little dookie, she's lying off. <laughs> um, no, it cleans, it cleans your ass. It okay. straight up cleans your ass. And you know what else? For the gays out there, for the gays out there, if you know what douching is, that thing helps you douche it's amazing thank you you're welcome you can thank me later um no it's um i was gonna say (laughs) never mind um no it it works dude and like the pressure and everything if you guys want to know which one i got it's not sponsored i wish they were sponsored it's called tushy and they just came out with the new one 3.0 so it's called the tushy 3.0 so just search that up i bought that one and it's really good you just install it and it's you know it doesn't take electricity so it's really cool you should buy one Tell your mom. You heard it. Your mom's going to be like, Yes, yes on these bed. Yes. Oh my God, we're so good, dude. I love us. That is, bitch. I was trying not to like cap the thing in the microphone here, but bitch, oh my God. See, I know your mom a little bit. Yes. Ay, mamá. Es para limpiarme la cola. It is. And you know what's funny? <laughs> is that they have it everywhere else, dude. The US doesn't have like, it's not a standard is what i'm saying really? it's a standard in like other countries like what the uk and all that pardon me if you're from the uk um tell me about it message me on anchor you can literally leave me a message tell me about the bidet sweetie please um but yeah like the, it's a standard in other places and right here in the u.s it's not what the fuck like it literally saves you more paper like oh i didn't mean to do that it saves you more um it's less it's less water because you're not making so much water with toilet paper like, because with toilet paper, like, it takes a lot of water to make make toilet paper, is what I'm saying. Uh, What was I saying? Oh, well, yeah, the, the bidet, it's really good. Um, Highly recommend, 10-10 uh, recommend. So please get one <laughs> to clean your ass. Thank you, Liz, for listening to me in the, in the restroom. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the applause, where is it? Woo! We're so cringy, huh? <laughs> Who cares? Who I know. A fuck? That's why you're here, sweeties. Oh my god, dude, the kids are so... Uh, it's okay. I know. It makes us who we are. We're loud. We're a loud family. We are a very loud family. No <laughs> matter... Everyone in the family, everyone is loud. Me and you together. Yeah, we're loud. Like, not even right now. Like, I'm talking about out of this place. It's, like, crazy. It is. I think we're going to go drive right now. We always do that. Yeah. I need to learn how to drive, well, because I don't have my, like, yeah. thing yet. Um. I want to get it soon. It's kind of stressing me out. Liz. We could go to the store or something. It's because I'm <gasps> craving hot Cheetos. Oh my God, look at you. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Oh. No. I don't have anything. No. Oh, our nieces. I know, dude. Remember when we were child? <laughs> we always say this. Oh, let's say, let's tell the audience what we did when we were kids. We um, we, we played, played church. <laughs> yeah, Misa. So, <laughs> if you don't, for the green girls out, oh my God, I didn't mean to say that. No. 
for anybody who's um, not Latino like us, um, we played Misa. <laughs> <laughs> Misa is church. Like we that's just like played church. That's like so unique, though. What Misa? Like oh, nobody Misa. plays. That's such a like. It sounds so annoying. It's because here's the thing. We went to church every Sunday. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Yeah, that's what the church is called here, and um, they like remodeled. It's all nice mm-hmm. now, but we have the old classic Santa Monica. The one with the bricks. Yeah, the brick ones. My sister had her quinceanera there. That's My freaking mom had crazy. Her wedding there. And your mom had her. That's crazy, dude. We all went there. It's such a family staple. <laughs> What? Whenever I, I I don't go to that church anymore. Yeah. But whenever I went, yeah, people I know everywhere. It was so annoying. Like literally, you would go to Santa Monica and yes. I would be like a family. I meeting. saw people from um yeah my family and a lot of people from school. From school, yeah. And then it's so weird that we like and not just saying me like even people from my school, we stopped going. Yeah. I used to go. So for those of you out there, I used to go to church every Sunday with my family and we went to go eat and stuff and we all would wear very nice clothes. Yeah, like, I don't do that. We either. would get ready for Sundays. Yeah. What the fuck? I, like I, My mom, I mean, we're very, we do like, do we talk to God? And stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. We do. Like we're actually really close to God. Yeah. But um, we just don't go to church anymore. Yeah. That's like, crazy. And I don't. Yeah, I haven't gone to church in in a, in a while actually, but I still try to keep my relationship with God. But yeah. especially with this pandemic, like a lot of people stop going to church. Yeah, especially for that. Yeah, that's crazy. But I'm like, even like before though, like I don't know why I I consider because you're saying like relationship with God. I consider me me and my boyfriend are in the same wavelength in terms of this. Like uh, my religion is very like New Age religion. I'm not trying to put a label on it, but like New Age, like very like. Like, I believe in, like, some universal energy and power. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. (laughs) But that's the beauty of it. We all have, like, the same. I think we're, like, sidetracking to religion. But I I don't mean to be talking about religion. But, like, I'm saying that. It's a very sensitive subject. Yeah. All of them, like, are pretty, very, like, the same to me. Not the same, but, like, they have the same stuff. And I think that's really pretty. And that's that's cool that we all have, like. Religions? Yeah. Yeah. All of them have, like, the same concept. It's really Mm -hmm. cool. Anyways, I'm going to not talk about that. But. It is a sensitive subject, but I just wanted to let the audience know. We were saying that um, we would play church yeah. uh, when, like, Misa. <laughs> we would play Misa church, and like, what would like, what would I would like? Would you, you would said just, it yesterday? Um, Kevin would be like, sit in front of me, like, like, siéntate en el piso. Yo me siento. Yo. We would talk Spanish when we were little because we didn't know that much English, and um. He would be like, send that to the piece. I'd be like, okay, Kevin. He'd be like, okay. And he would just yeah. lead, he would just lead the, the Misa. I'd be like, amen. And Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and I would, we would probably, I don't remember details, details, but we would probably do stupid shit. Like, yeah. here's August. Yeah, is it weird that I have like a, like it's, it's not weird. I don't know why I said, is it weird? But when you were talking about it, I can see us you were in wearing my a memory. Shirt. Yeah. Like I can see us. Like I can. Me too. And our in my tia tia's house. used to make us sleep together. Yeah. On the same the sofa. Fuck? That is so weird, huh? And she would make us. Yeah. Lay down opposite, so my feet would be in your face, and and your feet would be in my face. Oh my god! Ew. Do you remember uh, this? Or I no? think so. And you would always, always, you would always have the microwavable what? mac and cheeses. <gasps> Dude, I remember <laughs> that. Wait. You're kidding. Yeah, you would always You're have You're like those. bringing back memories. And I would always eat sopa, but we would always eat it at the same time. This episode should have been like the previous one, the memory unlocked. Not the previous I one, know. The, the third. What episode is that? Memories I don't know. unlocked. It was the I last know. one. Should... No, the one before this That's one. what this should have been because we're talking about memories, I but know. that's okay. Um, That's crazy. Do I remember? That's crazy. Like I remember the sopa, like the macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni yeah. and cheese and still till this day. Me too. You're welcome. You do? Yeah, I still love because of my tia. Yeah. I love sopa, like sopita. Oh, de, yeah, de she estrella. would always give us like so bomb. soup and shit. Yeah. I'm being just trying like, to. Every day I love it. I'm like trying to translate for like anybody who like what who are going to be like, what's sopa? <laughs> it's soup. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to like be all like weird. I'm just. Yeah, sorry, guys. I just get I talk my. No, say it. How like, I say talk. how you say it. How I talk, I'm very like, um, how do you say it? Spanglish? Spanglish. I do that too. I speak Spanglish. Me too. Yeah. 
I think more you more though, but I do talk Spanglish like a lot. You, Kevin's always like, but like why? But like why? Yesterday, yeah. I think I said it yesterday, huh? And you guys were like laughing. But why? But like why? Yeah. How was work yesterday? You like? Um. Afterwards, I. Still Why'd you to... message me? When you messaged me on Snapchat, you said Kevin, and it was like at twelve. Oh. <laughs> why? I, I was like, did you? I was. Like, did he ask his mom? Oh. It's like I said an alarm, and I was like, she straight up was like, see. <laughs> She was like, yes. And I'm like, okay. Like, I, I knew already. My mom's like, I don't know. Was Yesterday it after they left, they started getting like, it wasn't busy. But it was like customer after customer. And it was like steady, you know? Yeah. Um, And I still had to make ice cream. So I finished making ice cream around 940. But then I still had to clean the machine afterwards. So I d- we closed at 10, but I didn't start cleaning until like 1015. Yeah. Ew, how annoying. When do you, you close when? Every day. every Usually every time I work, I close. But close when? What time? We close at 10. So you were cleaning after close? Liz? Yeah. No, when do you leave, leave? Like at, yesterday I left at 12. Other days I leave like at 11.30. Oh, how annoying. On good days I leave like at 11. Did you get enough sleep? I'm um, the kind of person that needs sleep. Yeah, I woke up like at 8. I want to sleep like at 2.30. Woke up at 8? I wake up at that time. You woke me up. I did? Because their notification. Yeah. I like woke up and you had just sent me the message like a minute ago. Oh, okay. That's Well, I'm like, you said you woke me up. I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess. I'm your alarm now or what? I'm just <laughs> kidding. Um, you woke me up. Liz, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Liz is loopy right now. It's the cinnamon twist. What are we saying, dude? I don't know what we're doing. I'm sorry for those I listening. I don't even know the topic anymore. It's just like what free stuff. Oh, yeah. I guess what I can let me just like I can talk about like what I was going to say is about gratitude. What makes us feel grateful? That's true, huh? We have like such a like relationship to like I don't get it. I don't know. Isn't that crazy? It is. Like if I was born into another family, we wouldn't even be here talking to each other. But this is that's the family. Like this is us. But like if I wasn't born into this family, you know? Yeah. That's a weird topic like if, to talk about. That's if like my weird. parents never met. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't be alive. That's crazy, Liz. That's something to be grateful about. Yeah, I love so that. Shout out to Santa Cruz. Ew, shut <laughs> up. Is that where they met, or yeah. like married? You That's said? where my parents. They met there and they got married there. Oh my god, you're my mom. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying? That that's where they met. It's uh-huh. the, oh, in the little pueblo. Yeah. It's little pueblo. Um, that's crazy. I didn't know that, dude. Yeah. Well, here you are, Mm -hmm. and you're my cousin. You know, for those people who maybe are struggling with the gratitude stuff, like, try to create space and create space, like, in your mind, like, for what's what makes you, like, get gratitude. Yeah. You know? So, um, I think consider, I said, consider the things that are going well in your life, um, either, like, with physical health. Or with people around you, like Liz, you said about your family and like friends and stuff like that. And um, or where you live and find areas that are working well. Find areas that are working well in your life, like um, like your friends. That's something that's working in your life. People who are like close to you. Getting a job. Getting a job. Beautiful. That's a perfect one. Um, that's something that's working. Getting the motivation to work out. And working out. You work out, don't you? Yeah. And like you do it like I was telling you that yesterday that like I don't really like. I think that's so cool, like, working out. Like Yeah, but I struggle to find motivation. Like, sometimes I work out, like, occasionally, but, I, like, yeah. sometimes I struggle to, like, freaking get up and find that motivation, you know, yeah. to actually exercise. I think it's hard. I could never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me eating Taco Bell right now. I know. We forgot to brush our teeth before this. I know. Remember when I brushed my teeth? I said <laughs> I brushed my teeth because it feels, like, better. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But who cares? Um, I mean, gratitude. Find areas that are that you're grateful, like you said. So that's yeah. a really good example. I'm also grateful for nature. <gasps> Why? It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Liz, right now it's all like global warming. I'm just kidding. But the world is so pretty. I think people need to... I think a lot of people lost that. They need to go outside and really like take a deep breath. Like me and you love going outside. I love going outside. I'm a nature person yeah. too. I have plants inside my room right now. I have plants yeah. in my house. I, I love, I love it. Are those real? These are what? The plants? Oh, this? Um, Liz is looking at, it's my Spanish moss, but it's it's like a preserved version. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. I had real Spanish moss in my bathroom in the old house, remember? Yeah. And um, for those people who know me and probably have me on like Snapchat and shit, they probably seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, yeah, that was real Spanish moss. It, it was like growing. But these ones in my room right now, they're fake. They're like preserved. And when you moved here, did you have to remake them? Those? The no. Little, the little... The decorations? Yeah. Oh, no. They were already like... I just had to stick them up again. Like they were already, I just put them in like a box, like, but they were already like built. Like I didn't need to, I just stuck them back up there. You look cute. Liz is just like looking around my room, like a little kid, like of wonder. I like my room. I think it's like such a peaceful place. And I think everybody has, could relate to that with the room. Like your room is your sacred space. Mm -hmm. And it sucks for the people. (laughs) I don't mean to say that this sucks. Like I don't, I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I would hate it if I had a bunk bed with a sibling. No, I know. Because I want my own privacy, but I know that for some, there's some people who like, they can't have that. Like, I don't mean to. I feel like shitty now saying it, but I don't mean to like, mm-hmm. you know, some people just, they don't, they can't. But I mean, I personally would hate that. I would too. But if you grew up in that, in that setting already and you don't know really much about a lot of things, then I don't think like, uh, like about... I think if you're if I was born into that, like if I was like or if I had a a bunk bed with the sibling, but I didn't know any, not know any better, but just didn't know like about like society and like having your own bed, I, mm-hmm. I think I would be fine, obviously. But because I know that I could have my own bed, that's why I'm like, oh, I don't want to have a bunk bed. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. I don't know the way we like fucking. What do you call that? Indoctrinate? Like we're like all like. We like not poisoned, but like we just know a bunch of stuff because like school and like we that's what we know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, like we just like know like I don't know, like w- like some people it would be easy for them to like move out of the United States and do something completely different than what they're or they're used to. And for others, this is this is what they want. This is their life, like the American dream, whatever you want to mm-hmm. quote it. I'm not saying the American dream, but like this in the United States, like some people just are comfortable with this and they don't want to do anything that's like crazy. Like for me, I I really would never ever want to go back, like do like a farm, like make like being a farm. My dad, he loves that. And we have family members who Mm -hmm. love doing that. But me personally, I think I would struggle so much to just go back into a lifestyle like that. I can't. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm so up into the technology. Can you tell? Yeah, I love technology and all this stuff and this modern, this modern, this gay boy in the modern gay world. Oh, we're just growing mm. up. Um, <laughs> like I can't. We live here, and a lot of people say that if they went back, like, it would be so easy for them. Yeah, it would be like living the life without technology. Yeah, like people say, like, oh, I don't need technology. But Off you, the grid, you do. You I do feel like to, I need it because but. you're used to it. Like you, you can't live without electricity. That's kind of like a lie, though, right? Don't you think? What? We don't really need technology. Yeah, like, 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 well, we need it for, we need it for here. Like, we need, like, we need it. We do need it here. But, like, if I moved out to some country, because I know there's some countries that really, like, some places that they don't have that. Mm -hmm. And over there, I don't need it. But here, I know what you mean. Like, here, where we're living now, yeah, it's like a necessity. Yeah. Like, you can't have electric cars without wi-fi like like the safety would be better when they're connected but like that like we need technology and mm-hmm. like for that you know whatever i like i went on into like that topic <laughs> i guess what we were saying is that just take moments in your life to find what what like makes you what you you know to find what you can appreciate i feel this that i have i talked to you a bunch of times when i was like in some sad moments yeah um which i'm in incredibly grateful for like Mm-mm. i mean you're my like who else, like people tell me that i'm a good listener that's cute liz you are you are a cute a good listener a good listener but cute too i think you're so pretty liz like liz is wearing like some cute ass clothes right now very comfortable by the way very winter moment and your curls you have like beautiful luscious volume voluptuous curls right now i think they're nice curls you probably don't thank see you. it but i think they're good curls. <laughs> thank you you told me today when the car you were like um are they what are they less are they curly because i got highlights do you think they're more curlier i don't remember i think you honestly i think they were curlier before 
Yeah. Is it the highlights? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That it's because of the chemicals and all that? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I think it looks fine. Wouldn't it go away? It would go away, right? I think so. What do you do? You put mousse in your hair and you can just crunch I it with the thing? I put this product called Emerge. It's okay. like a cream. I bought it with you at Target. Is it like a mousse? No, it's like a cream. Like Oh, it's just a cream, not a foam. Yeah, and I just like it's just put it into my hair. And like, do you like telesecas? Like, do you yeah, scrunch it I up? Yeah, I scrunch it, yeah. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. And you're born with like hair like that. I think guys with curly, like natural mm-hmm. or permed, whatever. Like, curly hair are so pretty. Like I love like they curly are. hair. Like gay teens. <laughs> no, I love guys with curly hair. I think it's like so pretty on them. There's a lot of, I don't know. What do you like? Me? Yeah. And a guy? Yeah, and a guy. Liz is single. I'm just kidding. You're not looking for anyone. I'm actually talking to someone. <gasps> what? You're kidding. You're spilling yeah. that tea right now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. You didn't tell me this. Yeah. You're talking to someone? Yeah. Is he going to listen? I'll tell him to. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Mm. Hey, Tony. Oh, that's his name? I'm not going to say his real name, but that's what I call oh, him. Oh, okay. So we have a little secret. <laughs> that's cute liz how long <laughs> i hope everything go- well, is going we well were, it's like on and off okay he's listening and you're saying <laughs> this it is because even when we're off we're really good yeah. friends we're really close okay um but we actually broke up a little bit ago oh like wow. last year yeah and we were well, you're friends. focusing on your school stuff yeah. right okay and we were friends and now we're like getting back okay yeah well i mean you guys do that <laughs> I, you're smart you're not yeah. a stupid person because trust me there's some stupid ass people mm-hmm. um i mean it's the it's facts sweetie it's the facts uh there's some dumb people no you're smart i mean you do what you gotta do whatever yes. but i hope you're happy i am okay I'm, beautiful i feel like i'm finding myself <gasps> liz that is so pretty <laughs> wait don't oh i know that sergio my boyfriend is probably listening to my boyfriend is probably listening to listening to this right now, and he's like, "That is so cute." Like, I know I can see him. I, you better be bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. Oh, oh my God! I do this one voice. It's um. Do your your non your your how people say your man voice. This one. Yes. Yeah. My man voice. He's totally not gay at all. Mm, yes. Ew, that's so. Ugh, I hated that. Hello. Ew, I hated that. I hate when people are like, if you weren't gay, what would your voice sound like? <laughs> oh, sweetie, like this. No, I don't know. Actually, that's like a very interesting thing, though. Because you, the people, I don't know why, like the gay people have, not all of them, they get like their, they change, their mm-hmm. voice changes. And I think I saw, I think it was like a vocal coach, coach. Some gay guy like wanted to see how, what his real voice, like yeah. quote unquote air quotes, real voice was. Mm-hmm. And he, the lady was like training him to go back to his like norm not normal voice that sounds wrong when i'm saying it but it's like your vocal cords like natural state and like um and his voice was very like what you want to call masculine Mm -hmm. and it was so much like so much mental power to do that to his vocal cords so he just gave up but like it was just like not an experiment but they he wanted to see how his actual voice was Mm -hmm. and then he just went back to normal you're just like like this, but just like I have like this thing that I do. I don't know. I my voice is very unique, right? Like yeah. it's like different. I that sounds so like self. What do you call that? Self centered? How do you call that? No, it's that's just so a unique like. Voice. But I think I when I listen to myself, I'm like, why do I say words like that? Like yesterday, my friend Moni. Yeah. You guys were going back to the table, and I was like, "That's my cousin." She yeah. was like staring at you guys, like, and I was like, "Oh, what? Like we're different?" And I was no, like, oh. like oh, like they seem so cool. <gasps> That's so and cute. And I was like, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're boyfriends. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. And what'd she say? She's like, I know Lisbeth. Oh, yeah. Because it's very obvious. Yeah. We're like, mm, my gay is radiating, radiating off of me, sweetie. I'm like, can I have the chocolate and the coffee flavored ice cream? Thank you. Mm, put some more fudge. <gasps> she slurped that shit up. Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> That's cute, Liz. What's your name again? Moni. Moni. Monica. Monica, but you call her Moni? Yeah. Her- I like that cute little Actually, like name. Actually, I didn't realize I started calling her that. Because when we met, obviously that's cute. I didn't know her that much. But I love Moni. That sounds like... Yeah, that's her name. That's what her friends call Hi, her. Hi, my name is Mani. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying Moni. Me llamo Dinero. Dinero. 
¡Uh, ves! Ya ni Rivera Mome, por pendeja me caigo, pero por chingona me levanto. ¡Eww! ¿Es eso Jenny Rivera? Sí. Very sounded so like, I was like, that's Jenny. Soy Jenny. Um, Jenny, I want to ruin my friendship. I love that song. I'm going to have to. Sing with me. What song? What song? We're going to have a little singing moment. Have you heard Flaming Hot Cheetos? By Claro? Uh, wait. I don't how does it go? Words, um, do, 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 that one? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Can we put it? I, can't, I don't want to copyright. <laughs> do, 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 do. What is it? Live in the moment. That's what they tell me. But whatever happened to when you would hold me and hold me and hold me. Girlfriend or girl that's a friend. Easy. <laughs> it's easy. Just. Just to pretend that we don't have something real. It's just how we feel. Come on, we were we know. were literally harmonizing. Guys, we had a little session. We had a little karaoke session. I can't put it in because it's going to copyright. I mean, I think I could put the music, but I need to make sure. I need to check, but I don't think I can. But we were just singing. It was really cute. And we were kind of, well, well, we didn't really harmonize, harmonize. But we did right now a little bit. We were singing. Such a romantic. I need a fire. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we were talking about um coffee uh, in the store. You told Moni, oh yeah, about me, uh, us, whatever. They're gay. <laughs> um, that's cute, Liz. What the hell? <laughs> what were we talking about about that? We led to that. I don't know what we were saying. Oh yeah, whatever that guy that was like he changed his voice, whatever. I don't know. My voice is just it would sound like this, but just less. Mm-hmm. There's this. It has a name. A lot of like gay people have it. It's like this like thing like, and I think it got it got more like that for me. Like, it got more, like... I feel like before, I was, like... Like, you would hear my voice, but I think, like, now, I'm more what you want to... I don't know what I want to label it as gayer. Like, I got more gay. Yeah, because you're more comfortable with it now. And I'm more comfortable with it. That's like, it's that's what it is. I'm just yeah. more comfortable with this me, with Kevin, the real Kevin. Mm-hmm. And I'm still getting there, but I think I'm at 90%. I feel 90%. I feel like that leftover 10% is, like when i'm you know later in just a couple more years Mm -hmm. that's how i feel or maybe not maybe that rest of the 10 percent is gonna be until i die i don't know but i feel like more comfortable with myself so that's nice and so you just said right now that you feel you feel what not and you said well happy but you feel like more comfortable with yourself yeah i mean we're still insecure like we Mm -hmm. have like insecurities like i have my fair share of insecurities i know that you do that's Mm -hmm. good we should be like happy and if you guys are struggling right now Remember, like, take a moment to try to find, like, space um, somewhere in your mind. Like, breathe a little bit and, like, try to find something that you're grateful for. Yes. That gives you a sense of gratitude. It's important to love yourself before you can be grateful for other things. (gasps) That's a big one, Liz. God. With other people? Yeah. um, I had to love myself before loving, like, being able to love them and be myself with them. Yeah. Like, even with my cousins, like, sometimes it was hard for me to be all there. Yeah. And now that I'm, like, more okay with myself, you can say, mm-hmm. it's easier to be with other people. Okay. Because I used to yeah. go with my friends and I used to get a lot of anxiety. Yes, dude. Sometimes I still do, but now it's easier. I'm kind of, like, relating, like, in a, I'm, like, going back into my own, like, personal things. And, like, I'm, I feel that now. Like, mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. Like, I, I, I would be, like... I'm sort of I'm right now like nobody can see me, but I'm sort of shrugging to mm-hmm. like show the, what I how I felt. But I'm like basically enclosing myself into a little shell. I felt like a little shell. Like I was like, like I didn't want to be you did, seen. You didn't know how to answer or, like that or act. You did, yeah. You didn't know how to involve yourself with the conversation. Yeah, and now I just I guess like now I'm just like oh like you know participating in the conversation. Yeah, I think I for me personally I get along with people very well. Mm-hmm. Like when I would like where it was introduced like with my old friends like to their friends like they had their own little friends too, um we would I would click like I would get along with them mm-hmm. very easy like it wasn't a problem, and sometimes me and their friends would be talking more than them each other. I don't know if you ever had those moments. Have you had like a moment like that where you like yeah you're talking to someone else that they know and you're like oh mm-hmm. sorry I'm not giving you attention I'm giving yeah. your friend more attention right now unintentionally <laughs> lots of intentions yeah um I had moments like that yeah so yeah I don't know like I hope you have friends whoever <laughs> out there listening <laughs> you don't need friends 
No, no, it sounds it sounds shitty, but you you need people really. I think you we. I don't, I'm not that type of person. Like I don't know that experience, but there are people out there that could explain to you that you don't need friends. Mm-hmm. You like you just need you. Yes. Um. You don't. What I guess what how I could put it too is that I don't need. I don't need someone else to validate me. Like mm-hmm. I don't need someone else to tell me that. Like yes, I I appreciate someone telling me I've had like, um, like someone telling me like something like oh you're strong or you're this like that's just like you know affection and like you know like that's cute like please tell me like you know and that could give us a little uplift, but I don't need someone to tell me that I'm you know that I'm well I mean I guess like hearing someone say you're okay is cute like it's not cute it's like comforting but i don't need someone to tell me like you know what am i making sense yeah i just don't need someone else to say that to me um because you just need you you need yourself you need like you said right now you need to be happy with like you and your you confident in yourself in order to like or how rupaul says it for those of you out there the gay the gay teens what does he say he says god i need someone to tell me someone record it for me um what does he say oh my god i'm so embarrassed oh, I, I feel like i don't know if this episode was like so cohesive but <laughs> i appreciate those who are listening and um thank you liz for like joining me you know right here yeah. or whatever i mean we're gonna hang out still but liz is like joining me right now but that's the beauty of it like me and kevin didn't really know what to talk yeah. about but this is this this podcast could be like um a way to reflect our relationship yeah and how and you like, can and like how you can be with other people just be yourselves and the many sides of you and the many sides of me oh that's my little thing thank you guys for listening to this era and remember before you go show me some love to your favorite podcast by leaving me a review on apple podcast if you can and make sure you give me a follow wherever you listen to your podcast whether Mwah. it is spotify <laughs> bye guys liz i'm not done oh. <laughs> we're keeping that in there <laughs> Well, uh, well, I was saying that um, wherever you listen to your pot, to your Spotify, to your, <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> oh God, I'm all, We need to end it. Um, thank you guys. Stay tuned for next week. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I think I'm going to have. Um, uh, I think I'm going to talk about my gay brain. Uh, that's what I was going to talk about. My gay brain. Something about my mm-hmm. brain being gay. Mm. <laughs> um, Liz. Well, you were going to say that I was going to show everyone the what rupaul says which is a really really good thing that ties into this episode so what were you gonna you were gonna say that so today's final thoughts are ladies congratulations and remember if you can't love yourself how in the hell you gonna love somebody else can i get an amen up in here (laughs) he says that it's so cute anyways guys uh thank you for listening to this era so um bye liz oh my god bye guys bye kevin i love you all thank you guys thank you for listening bye